Get out of here as well. I got this off a very popular auction website recently. Here's an old Venna time switch. You can see the difference in size to my Sang Ammo. It's a big difference in size, so I don't know why I clean it up and wire it up and give it a test. It's even got the original terminal block on it. So got a tiny crack here, but that's the only um, damage I can find on it so far is that tiny crack. It's got the original anti tamper bolts, have not been touched, so I'm not gonna take those off. Property of the State Electricity Commission of Victoria, which no longer exists. It's all been split up and brought out by various independent power companies. Screws all intact, we've got. Yeah. These have not been taken out and missing, so that's good. There's no damage in there, so we've got active in, neutral out. We've got active and neutral in, sorry. Supply. Neutral out, active out to a load. I'm going to hook that light bulb up to it. First thing I'm going to take this off and try and set it on something and see if we can um, get it to trigger. So it's got 81, so I think it was last tested in 981. It's got 5th slash 81. And it's got hand wine, so this might be it might have a spring reserve in it. This is a one-way screw, so I'm gonna have to try and get this screw to come off. There we go. It's a bit hard to undo. Oh hang on a second, I just get that screw out. Okay, the awesome is kind of different, kind of unique in a way actually. It's got this little regulator adjustment here. A regulator R. And I sort of Yep, glass face, a uh, glass window, that's good. So if I open this, we've got like a little um, a regulator here, A and R. Before I get into more details on that, I'm first going to read the um, specs. The top is ERNZXV, serial number ER73361, 15 amps, 50 hertz, 195 for 250 winding volts, so 250 volts supply. Special test. Hand wind. There's a little hand wind thing in here. You wind with a screwdriver and it opens this up. And there's a little counter there. So I'm gonna wire this up and give it a test. Yeah, that's also British made. There you go. The rubber seal is all in a good nick. Alright, let's go in and out so we can set it up. These are the, these are the triggers here. Set it up off these. So there's a little thing here where it triggers. The contacts are in here. Smells, um, like I still smell the fresh paint. So there's no burning smell or anything, so that's good. This is in pretty good nick, so. So yeah, let's hook it up and give it a test. Okay, viewers, it's all hand wound up and it's, you hear it going. Spring reserves all wound up, so let's plug it in. Okay, it just stops ticking. I'll see if I'm moved anymore. This will move this way, pull this back, and that should turn the light on. Yeah. Alright viewers, I'm going to see, I don't want to take these any tamper seals off there. I'm going to um, see what the inner workings are like. It is working. It is working, it's very 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 quiet so. I'm going to just see that wheel turning. i shut this so I don't touch it because it's not earthed. There needs to be an um, there's no actual co connection to earth, so it has to be closed for safety. Strange, so this metal, this one here has an um, earthing arrangement here. Plug the earth into that and it grounds the um, chassis. This one doesn't have that. Not even on the outside of the case, there's no way to um, put an earth, so. Okay, have you always got the little clock face off? Very difficult to remove, it was on extremely tight. It's got three little lugs in it you can adjust to adjust it. So we'll set that to 
too long and get it to turn on for say for an hour set that back up <sighs> bit of gunk stuck in your finger there don't want that getting in the um, mechanism screw that back on Oh, that's working. Yeah, I have a look inside the um, clock, so you've got the little score to back that goes to the main contacts. There's a sticker floating around in there. Let's see if I can get that out. See what that actually says. Okay, viewers, I'm going to try and give you a little look at the contacts inside this. Carefully set this up. And that sticker has actually, um, I couldn't get it out, stuck behind the um, mechanism there. From what I can see, it's got, I think, it, well, judging, judging by the reflection, it's got zero, zero 026 printed onto it, so, much just the, um, the number from the electrical board, so, or from the um, service number or something like that. Yeah, I'm going to give this a good test, just to check the contacts, and I'll show you with this little sight now what they actually look like, if the camera can pick it up. So I'll get my meter here, set on continuity, to see how um, clean the contacts are. That one there, just get that to stay on there if I can. So put that in there. We might have to stick it in here. See if that helps. And there you go. Contact is clean. Now carefully set this light up here. Try not to get any dirt and muck while they get in the mechanism. And you can. No, I, well, I can see it, but I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Yeah, the contacts look to be in good nick, so that's good. Now it turns out I made a terrible mistake, I went way too ahead of myself. This is actually a switch, so you've got to have active going into that switch, and out of here to a load, then to neutral. So it wires up just as a light switch would, except this is a separate mechanism, so this is actually separately powered this um, uh, synchro motor mechanism here. So I'm going to have to set up another cord from here to a power point when I load into it, or just get one of these, or any old cord, cut the live out and just wire it through here, and this will switch it on and off electronically. So it's different to how this is set up. This is this just uses um, does it all on its own independently. It uses the same active and neutral in the one unit. You know. This is a completely different setup, so it's 15 amps, not 30 amps. Yeah, I'll do a, this is going to be part one. I'm going to, in part two, I'll do a clean up of it. Got a bit of dirt and muck on it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.